Hi, this is Todd Lohenry. A good friend they asked me the other day about managing tasks in Gmail. And one of the most important things that, um, uh, important features I think that's overlooked in Gmail is that there's a task manager built right in. I can take any email and I can add it to tasks and there is a little task uh, button that pops up in the uh, lower right hand corner and I can view that I can pop it out and I can take a look at that uh, list uh, big and you know nice and big and here is my video uh, email and it keeps track of the related email so that if I use Google Tasks and I turn an email into a task, the title of the email is going to become a task and it's going to maintain a relationship with the original email. So when I click on related email, it should go back and pull up that specific email. Okay, that's built into YouTube, sorry, Gmail. And there are applications that will allow you to synchronize this with either iOS or Android so that uh, Google Gmail tasks can become your tasks on your mobile device as well. Highly recommended. Now, there is a difference in my Gmail account than in your Gmail account most likely because I use a tool called Active Inbox and it adds another layer of David Allen getting things done thinking so that what I can do is um, if I have an item that needs attention I can select it and I can decide is this my next Action, is this an action? Is it waiting on someone? Is it due? Is it for someday? Is it finished? Do I want to schedule it for a specific date? Do I want to attach it to a project or a context like driving in a car or being in a location? Or do I want to save it for reference? And then when I go back to my inbox, these action emails are contained down in the bottom and I can open them when I want to. So I strongly recommend, at the very minimum, using Google Tasks, but at the maximum, exploring Active Inbox and seeing how Active Inbox can help you apply getting things done principles to your life via your email. If you're using email for work, then you'll know the frustration of only having two choices for dealing with your emails. The first is to copy and paste them into your task manager, thus duplicating the number of things you have to track. Or you can risk things sinking to the swamp of your inbox, never to be seen again unless your brain takes on the burden of remembering everything that you have to do. Active Inbox is different. It reimagines email as a flow of tasks running between you, your colleagues and your clients. So to give you a quick demonstration, I'm going to go into this email and pretend it's an important task from my boss by giving it the action status. That means Active Inbox will treat it as a task for me to do. If I was delegating this and I absolutely needed a response, I'd give it the waiting on status so that if they don't reply, I'll be reminded to go and chase them up. I'm also going to deadline it for today. And deadlines are great because they either allow you to impress a colleague by replying when you say you will, or if it's something you don't have to worry about for a while, you can deadline it for the future and ignore it and Active Inbox will remind you when it needs to be done. And so I always know what has to be done next, even if this conversation gets really large. I'll summarize it into to-dos. So do something for Bob and also for Alice. You'll see it's highlighted the first to-do so that when I return to this conversation in the future, I'll know exactly what to do next. And the notes area is excellent for storing useful information about the conversation. For example, research I've done or links to related information in another system. I can now safely archive this conversation to empty my inbox. 
safe in the knowledge that Active Inbox will not let me forget this task. It's a very good idea to keep your inbox empty, as it guarantees that you've seen everything and at least made a decision to do it now or make it a task for later. And then once the inbox is empty, there are no more nasty surprises. Let's go see where you need to focus to get things done. Just open up the sidebar and you can go into the today view. From here, you can see all your tasks for today and you can prioritize them by dragging the most important ones to the top of the list. And I won't show you this just now, but it's important to know that you can also group tasks into projects so you can see and focus on the bigger picture of your work. The final thing to show you is the shortcuts that Active Inbox adds to Gmail. It will help you write better replies by automatically showing you previous conversations and outstanding tasks when you open the reply box, which you can then browse through and select important things to mention in your message. It's also a safety net to make sure everything gets done for a contact. And the Move Nexters help you empty the inbox faster. They look like regular Gmail buttons for archiving, deleting, spamming, etc. But they actually archive it and move it to the next email with a single click. It's just a very smooth way to glide through your inbox. And that's the essence of Active Inbox. It turns Gmail into a task manager, giving it powers that are simply not possible without Active Inbox to guarantee that everything you say you're going to do, or someone promises to do for you, will get completed.